Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT and I'm gonna show you how to access the internet in real time with ChatGPT. It's very easy to do. If you look at the bottom of my screen, you'll see here that I have a little toggle switch that says web access activated. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and type in when was King Charles III coronation and then I'm gonna click on the little enter button. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it happened in 2023. I think it was May 6th if I remember correctly. and Google, or pardon me, ChatGPT is only trained up till the end of September 2021. So if it gives me the right answer for this, that means I've obviously got internet access. And here we go, May 6th, Saturday, May 6th, 2023. So we're in the good. So it's working now. Let me show you a second way that this works. And I'm also going to show you how to get the tool. So, well, let's do with the tool first. Let's go there. So the tool is called WebChat GPT. It is a Google Chrome extension. This works with Chrome only. It might work for Firefox, but I'm not sure. But right now I'm just using it on Chrome. And if you want to get access to it, just type in WebChat GPT and then click enter. It's the first link. I'll also put a link in the description below. However, now if you take a look here at this screen, look here on the right side. You'll see here as well that WebChat GPT is here. It's got it. I've toggled on web access. And when I typed into Google search, it gave me the chat GPT response, which is awesome. So we can go ahead and use the standard Google search. Plus we get chat GPT. Plus there's another bonus here, which is kind of crazy, but you can also get responses from cloud, which is another LLM. You can use Bard, which is Google Bard, and you can use Bing chat. So you can actually even compare them to see which one gives you the right response. Now for a simple request like this, doesn't matter, but if you've got a, you know, if you're working on a research project or an essay or something, this could come in really, really handy. Also, you could see the answer here. However, if I want to take this back into chat GPT, I just click that little button that says continue in chat GPT and presto, you'll see here that here's the request or here's the suggestion. Here's the sources. Here's the answer. And I can go back to working on it. Now, keep in mind, lastly, that it is an extension. It's a Google Chrome extension. So up at the top right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that little jigsaw piece. And then you'll see here that I've got web chat GPT. I've got a pin beside it and I've enabled it. So if you're not, if you don't see it, just click on manage extensions and then just go ahead and make sure this toggle is on. And then that's it. It will show up here. And this is it right here at the top, right? That's all there's to it guys. Get the internet access with chat GPT. Thanks for watching.